When I laid in the sand, I thought about you. When you laid in the sand, you said you saw. I don't know how much time we're given. Hi, my name is Julie Hirschfeld, and I'm the owner of Adeline Adeline. I was inspired to open Adeline Adeline after um, doing all this online research and finding all these amazing city bikes that weren't being featured anywhere in New York City. So I thought it'd be amazing to open a store that just focused on those European style bikes. I don't know how the name Adeline Adeline is, is sort of a funny coincidence. Um, both of my grandmother's, my father's mother and my mother's mother's name was Adeline. So it just seemed like a perfect fit for the store. I guess I always wanted to have a daughter named Adeline, but I had two boys, so this is this is my daughter. <laughs> when you're driving your Our store specializes in city bikes. It's primarily for women, although we have a lot of men's bikes as well. The focus are mostly European brands. We've got um, bikes, a lot of Dutch bikes, which is sort of the classic one that everyone knows. Um, and then we also have uh, bikes from Italy. We've got um, Pashley, which is from Stratford upon Avon in England, they're still handmade there. We also carry lots of bike accessories, like baskets and bags. Um, one of my true goals for the store is to find the most beautiful, coolest uh, bike accessories that are out there, so that, that's an ongoing goal. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, what kind of bikes are these that you carry in the store? And they're called, um, they're called city bikes, which basically means that they're an upright style ride. Um, you, your posture, unlike a traditional racing bike where you're leaning very forward, on a city bike you're sitting up and you're very comfortable. Um, usually it has um, a step through so that you know if you're wearing a skirt or you know anything that you know you wouldn't be able to get over a bar. It's very comfortable. Um, they're very easy to ride. They usually are only like maybe three gears. Some of them are up to eight gears, and some of them are only one gear. They're they're simple bikes. A great bike is, is a great investment, and, and the good bike, like the ones that we carry, is really well, well made and well considered. And um, if you think about the fact that maybe you won't be taking taxis as much, if you think about how much you spend on a daily metro card, when you actually tally the price of a bike, which should last you several years, I mean it should last you 5-10 years if you take care of it, at least, um, you know, it becomes a very reasonable, your cost per use is, is quite low. There's definitely a trend towards vintage inspired bikes. Um, I know that there's been a huge resurgence of people taking, you know, 70 twin bikes and, and riding them around, and these definitely are in that same world. Um, a lot of color, you know, um, so sort of moving away from maybe the traditional Dutch black bike and, and introducing more sort of vibrant color. In terms of helmets, there's definitely been a move towards a more skate style as opposed to the like traditional kind of Lance Armstrong race helmet. Um, I still think that there's room to, for someone out there, hello, whoever you are, to develop an amazing, fashionable helmet. <laughs> um, for a novice rider, what I usually recommend, at least for the first few times out, is to really plot your route, find, you know, bike paths or greenways that you feel, you know you're going to feel comfortable on, and really try and stick to that so you don't feel like you're shoved right out into traffic immediately, which can be very intimidating. The other thing I always say is there's no shame in walking. If you get into a situation, you feel totally uncomfortable, just get off your bike. You're much better off to just take it to the sidewalk and walk for a minute until you get to a place where you feel comfortable again, rather than, you know, trying to get into busy traffic, which is not, you know, can be very difficult. Um, I also tell people that one of the, the most important things is to be predictable. If cars know where you're going to go, so if you can signal to tell them or act, you know, you're not weaving in and out of traffic, you're just going straight and then they can predict where you're going to or anticipate where you're going to go, um, that that's safer for everyone. And I think that that's the same with cars, that they're, because the rules of the road maybe are a little bit more defined most of the time, I caveat that, um, <laughs> that, you know, you know where cars generally are going to go and you can kind of, you know, work around that, but they should also know where you're going to be. And God only knows if you yeah, come visit us anytime. We're at 147 Reed Street between Greenwich and Hudson. We've got a very bike-friendly um, situation here with bike path right up front. And then we're also online at www.adelineadeline.com. Thanks. I don't know how much time we'll give up.